working on a very simple double power supply with of course a very good hum rejection because it must be used must be uh, suitable to be used with audio audio uh, circuits and with audio the hum level must be extremely low like we all know two transformers they are in fact wall transformers so that's always a kind of problem when we talk about hum uh, rejection these transformers stray somewhat around I hope I can manage the problem anyway uh, they stray the hum field of 50 Hertz be it 50 Hertz or 60 Hertz doesn't matter they stray it around but on the back side here I'm gonna make a steel plate perhaps also here anyway uh, everything has to be tested of course it will be a completely classical circuit transformer bridge rectifier uh, for the positive lead a transformer bridge, bridge rectifier for the negative lead a zero inside I will publish the schematic when everything is ready and um, well that was more or less all to tell this is the first ID of that um, double power supply here I want to have the positive that will be red here the negative that will be black and inside here it will be blank etc could also be green could also be yellow to discriminate the positive and the negative and I hope to do uh, more circuits especially with op amps that need often need a double power supply anyway these knobs are of course homemade and I'm gonna uh, uh, test them compare them how they work with a digital voltmeter at the output and then there will be a very precise scale here going from say 0 to 18 volts or so these are two 12 volts transformers this is a bridge, rec bridge rectifier so it will be approximately 18 volts or so uh, both in the positive and the negative and that means that we have an effective voltage here of double 18 volts so 36 volts perhaps somewhat more even somewhat more anyway no problem the whole setup is very easy all on wood that's the best material not the best material but a good material to um, to make electronic circuits on when you don't have all kinds of machinery etc here are two lamps that they are automotive lamps and they will be switched here after the bridge rectifier or perhaps even before the bridge rectifier I have to study that first and then there will be a, a Darlington for the positive lead and a Darlington for the negative lead for the positive lead it will be made with a 2 n 3055 and a BD139 and for the negative lead it will be made with a TIP2955 and a BD140 and here are all the outputs and the only thing that I wanted to tell in the first ID was this uh, here are all the outputs so they have to be mounted here inside and when you want to make when you want to solder these plug, not plugs but outlets here and the plastic cap is already on here you will surely melt that plastic cap and the whole thing will start to deteriorate etc etc 
So this was the aim of the video. When you want to um, use these these sockets for banana plugs, uh, take all the plastic off and then solder the wire here, solder a piece of wire directly to that socket and afterwards mount it on the front. That's the best thing to do, otherwise all the plastics will melt uh, because you need quite a lot of heat to make, to make a, a good soldering joint here. So that's the only tip that I wanted to give, but of course I also wanted to tell something more about the circuit. When it's all finished I will publish it on YouTube. Thanks for watching.